대나TV 유튜브 구독 신청으로 저희에게 힘이 되어 주십시오. Hello everybody. This is Issue of Korea. The fourth week of January. It's freezing. The coldest winter in 36 years is come to us at last. Until second week of January, it's fine. It was a very, very mild and warm winter. Comparatively, the temperature is very mild. But however, from the third week of January, the weather is dramatically changed. Weather forecast said that the coldest stream from North, Co North Pole, North Pole, directly came to Korean Peninsula. The temperature, the official temperature of today, is minus 14 degrees in Southern Heights. Then, a couple of days ago, last Friday or Saturday, the temperature was. Minus 19 degrees in the Southern Heights. That of Moscow was the 14 or 15 or 16 degrees, minus 16 degrees in the Southern Heights. This means that the temperature of Seoul, Korea, is colder, colder than that of Moscow, Russia. Can you believe that? However, okay, okay. It's harder to believe that, but however, it's fact. It's a scientific fact. So, it's freezing. Until second week of January, that was the uh, very mild winter, no snowing at all. But suddenly, heavy snow and storm came to us. In case of Jeju Island, the south part of Korea, famous for its tropical weather, such as Mandarin of Jeju Island and Jeju Pineapple, a pineapple is very very famous. However, last 48 hours, all the traffic, all the route, I mean including inbound and outbound, to Jeju Island is disconnected. No ferries, no ships, and no airplanes. Many tourists, okay, Jeju Island is a tourist spot. Always 365 days per year, per year all the place of Jeju Island is full of many kind of tourists, honeymoons, family traveling, or even many, many, many foreigners try to enjoy the weather of Jeju Island. But, last couple of days, the situation is totally different. Soon after all the plane uh, was cancelled, Jeju airport itself became a kind of dormitory. All the accommodations, all the rooms was fully booked. No rooms at all. Even all the B&B is fully booked. There's no place to sleep. So, uh, a couple of days ago, uh, 1,700 tourists stay the night at the airport and Last night, more than 1,200 tourists spent their night with their family at the airport. The governor of Jeju Island gave them mattresses, blankets, uh, in order to make the airport a kind of temporary dormitory, but still inside the airport is very very cold so tourist suddenly uh, looks like a kind of homeless 
In case of the Ulung Island, the situation is very similar. Ulung Island uh, located the east part of the Korean Peninsula. It was famous for heavy snow. But however, the mayor of Ulung Island, the population of Ulung Island is around uh, 20,000, but the mayor of Ulung Island have been to United States last week having some official business meetings but however all the route all the traffic was disconnected either so he is not a uh, there is no way for him to return to his working place he stay <laughs> at the Korean Peninsula I don't know when he will come back to Ulung Island. Uh, the news <coughs> show us that all the people in Ulung Island uh, use their canned food and stay the usual winter. But however, <laughs> Jeju Island, the situation of Jeju Island is very unique and special. Maybe from today, from this morning, around 11, uh, half past 11, the Korean government seriously consider to reconnect uh, all the plane route or ships uh, inbound, outbound of Jeju Island. But uh, there is, oh, it depend, it totally depends upon the weather. Oh, coldest winter in. 36 years, I know that the some part of the United States and Europe still suffer from very similar kind of problems. But however, spring will come. The weather forecast said that after this week, the weather becomes the normal condition. This week is very exceptional and extraordinary. I don't like this kind of winter. It's freezing. Please pull yourself together. Spring is just around the corner. Thank you.